In this video, we will go over five important reasons to choose round diamond rings, as well as five tips or things you need to know when buying round diamonds so that you make a great decision and don't get ripped off. So subscribe for everything related to marriage proposals and let's get started. One, sparkle. Round cut diamonds, also known technically as round brilliant diamonds, have long been the most popular diamonds in terms of shape. There are a number of reasons for their popularity, but the biggest is their light performance. The symmetrical outlay of a round cut diamond, if done to proper proportions, can produce a diamond that reflects and reflects light with dazzling light performance. When cut with precision, round cut diamonds are unmatched in brilliance, fire, and scintillation, so they sparkle at their peak. So it gets the maximum sparkle of all the shapes that you can buy from. And while they sparkle the most, their sparkle is also the most predictable because if you purchase a diamond with an excellent cut graded by the lab GIA, you don't really even need to see the diamond because the cut will tell you how much it sparkles. And if you buy it from a brick and mortar store, they can make even the worst colored diamonds sparkle in the store. But if you look at that lab certificate and it has the excellent cut, you will never go wrong with that. Watch my video on Diamond Cut for more on this. Two, round diamonds are classic, meaning they never really go out of style, nor will they ever be considered trendy. This means you likely won't regret your diamond choice in five, 10, or 40 years down the road. Three, selection. There are more round diamonds than any other diamond out there. This means you will likely find exactly what you're looking for because the selection is so big, especially from the two online retailers that I have linked to below this video. They have hundreds of thousands of loose diamonds, whereas a brick and mortar store might only have five or 10 loose round diamonds on hand. So this means, let's say, if you want a two carat diamond cut perfectly symmetrical with strong fluorescence, then you will likely be able to find that diamond on one of those websites. Whereas in store, you may not get one of those things or multiple things if you're looking for specifics in a diamond. The online retailers I have linked to below this YouTube video, once again, they have the biggest selection of diamonds and they're more affordable and they are the most reputable places to buy diamonds. Because round diamonds are so much more optically superior, many times small flaws in color and clarity will go unnoticed. They are much more forgiving than let's say these two diamonds. Both have large round flaws in the center, yet the emerald diamond is much more noticeable. Now, if you're new to buying diamonds, this is all actually graded on a lab report that comes with the diamond. So you don't need to necessarily worry about this and you should watch my other videos on that. So you can watch all my videos on how to read those reports as they are your best tool to avoid any issues when buying diamonds. And that will be given in a clarity grade. Now, this is probably a good time to point out my links below this video will filter for the best diamonds that are graded by labs that will not rip you off and they'll make sure you're buying diamonds that sparkle at their peak and those diamonds will be the minimum clarity and cut grades so that you will save money yet not have flaws that can be seen to the naked eye so you won't get ripped off. If you use my leaks, then all you have to do is plug in your budget range and you'll get the biggest diamonds within those specs and in your budget. But the good news is round diamonds will hide flaws better than some of the other shapes out there if you're going with the lower clarity grade. If you're not, then you don't really need to worry about that too much. Five, one of the great things about round diamonds is they will go with almost any ring style you choose. So for example, your style will not be limited to the stone that you choose if you're going with a round diamond. This is true in two ways because not only will round diamonds just look good with most ring styles, but also some rings won't even accept certain diamond shapes. And since round is the most common, most rings will accept a round diamond. Look what happens here, for example, when I filter out rings that can't use Marquise diamonds and round diamonds. When I filter for round diamonds, 619 rings will hold a round diamond and only 317 rings will accept a Marquise diamond. So you've limited your ring selection in half by not going with a round diamond. Now for very important tips and things to know when buying a round engagement ring. First, I already alluded to this earlier, but never go below an excellent or ideally cut diamond for two reasons. The sparkle of the diamond is directly related to its cut. And also the sparkle of the diamond is the second most important and impressive quality of the diamond besides its carat size. So look at these. The center diamond here is an excellent cut. And then the other four diamonds next to it are either a very good cut grade or a good cut grade, which means they're not excellent or ideal. You can see with the same light source, 
that that diamond in the center sparkles much, much more. And that is the beauty of buying an excellent cut diamond. And so now that you can see that it sparkles much more, going up in cut grade doesn't affect the price near as much as carat and clarity do. In fact, I do a cut price comparison in my cut video that I made, and you can see what you can expect the price to go up with with each increase in cut grade. The other reason not to go below an excellent or ideal cut grade is that diamond cutters can cut around diamond so it looks smaller than the carat weight suggests. So if you're getting an excellent cut diamond, it's gonna look the carat that it says that it is. If it's not, it can look smaller. This is because, remember, carat is just the weight of the diamond. How they cut the diamond is how big it appears and how much sparkle it gives off. Second, noticeable clarity flaws. Now, like I said, clarity flaws are harder to see on round diamonds. So if you aren't careful, you may buy a diamond with a flaw right on top where everyone looks. They are hard to see even to the untrained eye. For example, can you see the flaws on these diamonds? It's difficult, but once you do see them, every time you look at them, that's all you see. So, especially if you're going with a low clarity grade, make sure flaws are on the side of the diamond where the clasp or prongs can hide it. The online websites I have below, well, obviously I love them and they use magnification and light that exposes the flaws, unlike brick and mortar stores, which try and hide the flaws so you can't see them, so you might pay more for a lesser quality diamond. Third, compare, compare, compare. These websites will let you compare as many diamonds as you want and when you want. If it is your first time looking at diamonds, choose a few and try and find the flaws in them. Then look at diamonds with different color grades until you start noticing the difference in color. You can watch my videos on diamond clarity and color comparisons to learn how to see this and how to see the flaws. It won't take long before you can start seeing them and picking them out. And those videos will be in my diamond buying playlist that pops up at the end of this video. Fourth, GIA. Some retail Retailers out there will sell diamonds by both GIA and other labs. And so what happens is these labs will certify diamonds and they'll inflate the grades of those diamonds. That way you actually pay more for a lesser quality diamond. Look at these three diamonds with the same specs but graded by different labs. Though not perfect, the one on the right looks way better. Not as flawed, scratchy, dark, or yellow. That is because it is graded by GIA. GIA is the gold standard in diamond labs. Stick with their diamonds and you can trust the certification. Now let's say you weren't able to see the flaws of the di these diamonds somehow because they aren't under magnification and the store you went to used fancy lights. You would see a smaller price tag on these lower quality diamonds but they look the same quality because their grades tell you they're the same and the lights are shining on them just the same and sparkling just the same. So you're gonna pay more for these lesser quality diamonds and when you leave, it's gonna be more obvious that they're lesser quality over time especially. One of the diamond websites below only uses GIA diamonds. The other online retailer does, but if you use my affiliate link, I already have filtered out non-GIA diamonds for you. Fifth. Avoid branded cuts. Jewelry stores will sometimes say to you, you need such and such diamond because it sparkles more. These oftentimes are their brand name diamonds. And what they'll do is they'll just shine fancier lights on the diamond so it sparkles more. And you just pay more for a brand name diamond that likely is no better than the other diamonds and is not certified by GIA. Now there is one exception for this and this is Hearts and Arrows Collection Diamonds and those will have different names at different places. So if they have a hearts and arrow collection, then that is something to look into. But other than that, if they're branded some other way, you're just paying for a brand name of a diamond. Remember, if you want to search diamonds easier from one of my websites below, I already have all the poor quality diamonds filtered out for you. Then all you have to do is type in your budget and you'll get the highest carat that you can possibly get and save money in the clarity and color grades for things that can't be seen to the naked eye. Make sure you watch all my proposal tips and idea videos now if you want to plan the perfect proposal. Also watch one of my many how to shop for engagement rings and diamond videos. Or mark my words, you will get ripped off. They know this is a one-time purchase you'll make and you know nothing about it. So like, subscribe, and watch another one now.